Sanitize your hands. I hope not. Mm -hmm. Hi. Are you Brendan? Yes. Hi, my name is Michelle, and this is your mom? Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're going to see how tall you are today and how much you weigh. Um, let me check your birth date first. When were you born? April 16th. Instruct the patient to remove coats and jackets, keys and shoes for a more accurate measurement. If shoes are removed, a paper towel should be placed on the scale. Some offices always weigh with shoes to save time. In either case, be consistent from patient to patient and visit to visit. Make sure both weights are at zero and the indicator is floating an equal distance between the up and down position. If not, adjust the scale accordingly. With the patient on the scale, move the lower, 50-pound weight to the right to the notch before the indicator point moves to the down position. Now, move the upper 1-pound weight smoothly along the bar until the point floats equally between the up and down position. Make sure both weights are seated firmly in the appropriate notch. Add the two values together and read the weight to the nearest kilogram or pound. Brendan's 59 pounds. Okay. And can you turn around? We'll see how tall you are. Return both weights to zero. To measure height, the patient is usually instructed to stand with the back to the height bar to prevent injury. Raise the sliding height bar well above the patient's head and open the horizontal measuring arm. Lower the sliding height bar until the horizontal measuring arm presses against the head, compressing the hair. Remember that numbers on the lower height bar go up to 50 inches, but the upper sliding bar scale reads down from the top. If the patient is taller than 50 inches, the height is read at the place where the top section moves away from the bottom section. Read the result. He was 49 inches, Mom. Be sure to lower the horizontal measuring arm before leaving the scale. Clean the measuring bar with an antiseptic wipe. Sanitize your hands and document the measurements.